Award for a dynamic man. Who would have ever thought I'd be here accepting this prestigious award at this university where my husband presented me with my master's degree? As most of you know, Carl was not my just not only my husband, but mentor and coach. I had an opportunity to watch his magic span the United States, touching every age and ability swimmer and student. He was the type of coach that took awkward athletes and made them surpass their expectations. It was more than winning for Carl. It was about the human performance one brought to the sport and the contribution to team while forming a community. Carl believed in two aspects of sport, humanistic and performance development. There are many of you, I'm sure, that were victims of his blood profiles that involved multiple pricks of the finger at the wake of dawn, evidence of his determination to provide the best information needed to make strategic training decisions. Then there was the human aspect that he molded by his devotion, determination, for all of us to be the best we could be, regardless of the venue. Over the years, the common denominator for Carl's ex existence was his rigor, his dedication, and passion, which made athletes, young and old alike, better human beings. One never knows the indelible mark that can be left by one human being until they're gone. Carl's belief was to make the most out of what was given to us, to be thankful for the gifts that we were given, and use them as the foundation to be something great. SCS, SCSU was our family for 16 years, in which Carl and I were blessed to be part of. As a former swimmer and wife, I am deeply touched by this honor and know that Carl would be forever grateful for this re recognition. As some of you know, Carl was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's four years ago. Since the disease erases the very essence of a human being, I moved back west where my family is and where we had our life 30 years ago in hopes to outsmart the disease and buy us some time. Well, I did not accomplish that goal, but I was able to provide Carl with a setting in which he could die with dignity. When Tim contacted me about this honor, there was no doubt in my mind that I would be attending. Not only to accept this honor on behalf of my husband, but to thank the SCSU community for providing Carl and me an incredible university experience. Carl would want everyone on campus that he worked with, from custodians, secretary, guard gates, um, gate guards, campus police, coaches, students, and faculty, and administration, to know that he loved SCSU and that he was a thankful he was thankful for the opportunity to contribute to this institute. <laughs> Lastly, he would want me to end by saying thank you to everyone that we should leave today attempting to make a difference in someone's life. Thank you very much.